guess that brings a new meaning to get, get to the chopper. <laughs> I kill me, I kill me, I kill me. <laughs> Welcome back to another Plasticon review. We're doing a little more power core today. Because I still have a lot of them to go through. Anyhow, let's go on into helicopter mode. Ooh, helicopters, helicopters. Ooh, who doesn't like helicopters? Come on. Anyhow, we have got back wind and wind burn. It's pretty much the same toy, except for different colors. This is Autobot Decepticon. Happen to have the drones. Lots of them. We'll get on to that later. Because I think I'm going to keep this one together. No splitting up. This time I'm gonna actually going to show you Power Core Combiner Mode and everything else in this video. Mm-hmm. Anyhow. We'll be on. Back when... Here's back when... He's a Chinook. He's got a nice, big, tasty Autobot emblem right there. 2015. I don't know what the heck that even is supposed to represent. But here he is. He a fairly amount, fairly decent amount of detail. If you look at him, you can actually see like little rivet holes and everything. I think they did a really decent job of actually hiding the power core things here, because this kind of makes a little bit of sense if these are kind of hanging off a little bit. But I mean, if you look at it and you take it off, it's not like it's actually adding or missing anything, so it really doesn't hinder this one. This is part of a two-pack. Came with this little guy. Looks like a gorilla. Forget their names, but you can plug him in under here. It's like so. If you feel like it. I think his name's Searchlight or something. Anyway, it is one of the gimmicks that's actually cool. He does have one port right there. See a little bit of kibble. Cool thing is he actually has a second port, yeah. which you can pop out right there, so you can actually power leak. Ooh, on the bottom. Robot Kibble, eh, well, you can see his thighs. That's about it. It's not bad, though. They did a really good job of hiding the robot in this, I think. On to transformation. Gotta pull the wing, the props off first. They just pop in with these little pegs. They spin still. They are on little metal rivets, so you don't really have to risk the simple fact of breaking them. Um, I still say be a little careful, but still decent power core. Here's the two holes you're all plugged into. You can kind of see the robot arms here a little bit. Not real bad though. Anyhow, what we do is we unpeg here. Same part. Like so. Then here at the bottom, we're gonna do the same. Pretty much split this guy in half. Now, one thing you want to do before you transform them is pull these two bits here out. The next thing you're gonna do, pull these forward on both ends. Then this part right here, I'm gonna grab this. Angle it back and then rotate it out. And rotate out his foot. Same thing on the other side. These do peg fairly well. So the whole um, the whole robot mode itself does peg in nice and solid. Which is another good thing about this guy. Then I know it looks like a mess. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab the whole side and you're going to twist the entire side. Before you do that, though, these 
You want to move out to the sides. Twist and twist. As you can see, one flap is out, one flap's in. These are actually kind of optional, however you want to position those. Because it basically either fills in his chest a little more, or you can have it in more like I do. I tend to have them like this. That way you can move his arms in a little bit. Gives him a little less silly bulk. And these here on the back, you can position this stuff here kind of any way you really want to. He doesn't really suffer from a lot of kibble, unlike some of them. But you can kind of put those up like this. And then position these down a little further, and it doesn't look as bad. He's not a bad robot. He's actually got a lot of articulation. His legs have pretty good movement in them. Does bend at the knee. Part of transformation, and he also has thigh swivel. Bit of a toe pivot, too, from the whole transformation part, but you can get this guy in some pretty sick poses. Arms on a ball joint, moves in and out, twists around. It's not bad. Does have fists molded in. And, as you can see, he's got a bigger head up. Well, that's what's cool about these. Since I have two of them, I tend to use the smaller head on the Decepticon and the bigger head on this guy. That is his power. That's his power core dome. Ooh, big old chin. Or, let's swivel this thing back around. This is on a spring, so when you pick it up, it will spring back into place. And there's his combiner head. He almost looks jawless. I really wish they could have put a little more paint in the bottom, but I don't know. It's kind of like chrome dome or some crazy crap in the world. Anyhow, what you can do these props, you can plug them in and give him prop arm if you want. You could do that on both sides. I tend to do that because I think it's kind of neat. That, or you can even plug the prop into his, the palm of his hand as well. You do have to kind of position it kind of out a little, so it doesn't hit anything. But they spin really good. That's the plus side about these. These actually really do spin well. They're not like a roll. They're a bit of a bendy type of plastic, but I wouldn't get too rough with it because you can snap them. But anyhow... There's backwind in robot mode. We'll be on. Getting all lined up here. Windburn. Here's Windburn. Obviously, another Chinook. Same type of gimmick. He's virtually the same robot. Has the nice little power core thing here that likes to pop out. Well. Not so much on this one, because this, this one here is fairly new. I just got this one just recently. It's kind of stiff. But, he does have a uh, Decepticon emblem on his crotch. And he's got them on his back wings. Kind of neat. He does spin fairly well. I dig the copper color and the darker color of... Um, this is kind of a sea green or almost a sea blue. It just really, really pops in this one. I really like the colors on this one a lot more than his counterpart. Obviously, same transformation. I'm not going to go crazy into this. So I just showed you the other one. But anyway, my thoughts when it comes to these guys is, yeah, purchase these guys. They're not bad. Pretty cool. They, um, they are two packs. This guy here, I'll show you his little 
minion here in a minute as soon as I get him transformed. Moving <laughs> his arms, in his arms in position. And set him up. Once you get a good look at the robot mode. And if I can get the focus on his head here. There you go. As you can see, they carried over the copper color to his chin. I also like that. And his combined mode head. Sadly, there's no light piping on these. I really wish they gave these guys light piping. So this, this one to me is a lot better looking, just paint app wise, compared to his counterpart. His counterpart could have dealt with, I think, a little bit more paint, but I know they have to make them different. So, maybe they're sharing the same mold, but they're different. Who cares? And obviously, same thing, you can plug these on his arms and such. I do like the type of these are actually molded this color they're not painted so it's pretty nice also he's got his little counterpart here which is a lot like um caliburst I cannot remember this guy's name at all back fury something like that I don't know. but there he is these little guys are kinda cool it's almost a bonus getting a little translucent mini con to go with uh, with these guys or any of them. I mean, uh, these I actually use on a lot of different things. I don't just use these on the power core. I use these actually on any Armada toys I have or anything. They plug in just like them. They're identical. So I love the backward compatibility they have. It's pretty nice. But anyway, here he is. Robot mode. Okay, going to transform him into his torso mode. <sighs> About 14 YouTubes and at least 20 other photos later because I'm old and I don't get it sometimes. Yep, I got him transformed the way he should be. I will show you on backwind. How to transform him. There he is. Anyhow, I will show you how to transform this guy into dorsal mode. It's fairly easy. First things first. You're going to take his legs, you're going to push him out, up, and back around. As for the feet, you want to push the feet in. The feet will come down and hug against his thigh. So nose for a turn. Let's do a little bit of yoga here to make him fit and work, but it will work. Did you like so? Like a like a so? Okay. I'm going to move this kibble here kind of up and out of the way. As for these, you just move these down. Push this thing forward. Flip out the two flaps. Rotate this thing. Okay, as for his arms. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to fold his arm up like that. Then you're going to kind of push it up to the top. You can kind of keep it hanging out like this or push it back further, however you want to do it. There's really no official way of doing the arms on this guy because I've seen this. I've seen where they want to put these down and 
kind of push them back all the way and put them back behind the chest flap thing whenever you bring it up. But I mean, this is okay if you want to add guns that are going to stick up or out or something like that. I'm not a big fan of that. So what I do is I push them up like this. I just think it looks better. It also allows you to still use the holes on the side for the propellers. They will plug in just fine on both sides. That way they do not hinder anything. And they're obviously not going to spin around a lot. They're kind of stuck. Now, he is in combined mode. Going to take drones. Helicopter drones. Why not? Helicopter attached to helicopter. Let's do this. These, you have to actually kind of push the uh, back bit down. And you take this and shove it in the hole. Just like so. Same here. Push it in here. There we go with the gangly arms down to his knees. Gorilla former. These. Push this down. Yeah, push this down. It's going to kind of push this up, but it goes down. That's with a little gun on the front. And you will push this thing in here. It will auto morph just like it always does. Or tries to do. You kind of kind of help it along, but it works. And we are going to do the same with this one. There we go. And there we go. Here we go. Here he is in combined form. This arm is trying to come out. That's why his arms are sticking out. Now, the only thing I really don't like about these is how long these arms are. But I look past it because I see where Hasbro is taking this kind of line just because of the Bruticus is coming out. I got a film we're going to see a lot more combiners that are along those lines pretty soon. I mean, this was a test run, which I kind of give it to him. It's kind of neat that you can still rotate the helicopter props in the front. He does, t he, this one actually tends to stand up pretty good. You just have to kind of get him positioned. He does almost have that chicken walker look, which is forgivable because it's fine to have some transformers that chicken walker, but not all. But all in all, he is a pretty cool bot. And obviously power link on the chest if you want. Let's do that real quick. And then if you want to just get ridiculous, we can attach some stuff here on top. A silly gun turret axe thingy here. And, uh, heck, why not? Let's do the same with this one. Gun turrets all over him. Roar! Oops. There we go. Sure, why not? He's already got blades, so he's already dangerous enough. Might as well add some gun turrets. There we go. Here he is in his ridiculous form. But anyway. I'm going to fix his counterpart here so that way he can stand next to him and give you a little bit of a size comparison between the two. Do, do, do. Let's 
takes forever. I'm kidding. These are honestly not that complicated. There's a lot of people out there that have been knocking these power core, and I really think they're just people that expect everything to be like Generation 1. I am a big G1 fan, but I also see where they're going with a lot of this. Looks like a big mess in the train wreck, but what do you expect? It's a bunch of helicopters combined to each other. I mean, how's that not going to look ridiculous? Grabbing peekaboo here. There you go. Size comparison wise, he's not too bad. He's got a little bit of height to him. I do dig the idea that these guys are different colors. And they did try to make some effort to make them look different. And I really do like the Decepticon one a lot better. Windburn to me is probably my favorite out of the two. But my thoughts are, buy them. Why? Because they're Transformers. Why buy Transformers? Because everybody loves Transformers. You gotta be dead to not like Transformers, right? Okay. Anyhow. This has been Plastic On. This has been another review. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.